Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Tactics Ogre. Last time we left off, we were hanging out over here at Chris Saro and we got you and the party full, Kurt. So I did a few things with the party here. Uh, I went ahead and put the heals two and major heal on Kashua here. And uh, I gave Donalto heal two here as well. Um, Let's see, there was something else I wanted to do. Yeah, I want to go into the shop, I think, and get um, some of those uh, debuffs for Denim here. Um, so, how about we grab some of those? Let's see, we have Bridal, Silence Opponents, Bind a Target. I like Bind. That sounds like it limits their movement, which sounds cool. Or I could Benumb. So... I mean, stuns seem pretty good, but binding also seems pretty good. My weapon already bright, already has silence on it, so let's just buy one of each, I think. And I can give uh, Denim both of those. Because um, I'm not as crazy about the elemental things that you're currently rocking. So uh, I think I'll put these on. Yeah. So let's take off, like, Sand Spider and put on uh, Shadow Bind and uh, Benumb instead. That looks good to me. And my weapon already silences, so that is good. Um, the other thing I wanted to do, so yeah, Derwin, uh, I think we can change you to a um, Dragoon now. I had you on a Rune Fencer still last time because I wanted that extra heal. But uh, I don't think it's as required now since Donalto and Kashua both have major heal and heal too. So, uh, I don't think I need you dropping your baby heels in the background. I just wanted you for a little bit of, uh, safety there. But let's go ahead and make you a Dragoon. There also weren't any beasts or dragons, um, in that previous fight, so you just wouldn't have been super, super useful. But, yeah, because I remembered it saying that you were mostly good against fighting beasts and dragons. Um, so let's see what all you got access to here. Swords, axes, cudgels, pincer, attack. That's going on. Rampart Aura, Siege. Cause the melee attacks on dragon units to deal increased damage and hit with 100% accuracy. Beast units to deal increased damage and hit with 100% accuracy. And increase the melee damage dealt to beast units by friendly units within three tiles. Okay, so this is definitely a class you just want to have on when you're going to be fighting beasts. Otherwise, you're basically just a knight that can't heal, um, aside from having these beast and dragon slaying things here. Okay, so a, a unit that's extra effective against certain types of units, it will se seems like I'll probably be wanting to swap you around between multiple things um, pretty consistently, depending on the battle, so I will need to get a few class marks for that, because it seems now a waste to not have you as a Dragoon if I'm not fighting dragons or beasts. Um, it seems like it would be better to just have you on something else. I could turn you into a knight even and just throw like heal two on you So all right, let's uh, go ahead and put rampart aura on cuz uh, I Don't know if we're fighting beasts yet. So That looks good to me. I'm not gonna swap you yet. I do just want to give the class a shot See what it's like the stats are at least different You're a good deal slow or a little bit slower than you were as uh, another class. You're still agile though. Alrighty, uh, I think that's everything I wanted to do there, so with that, let's check out the Warren reports. I don't think there were any new talks, no. But we do have people. Sir Fulkert. A Bakram warrior with the Liberation Front. He was the top recruit at the famed Vanaheimer uh, Officers Academy. Sorry, hiccup. War broke out soon after he was made a Knight of the Realm. Yet he remained faithful to the royal line, opposing Branton's rule. He joined the Liberation Front upon being driven from his knightly order, choosing to champion harmony over discord. Yeah, so yeah, we knew you were from the Liberation Front. And then we got Sir Farrell. A Wallister who served at the Wallister Resistance. Sir Farrell is the youngest son of the mercantile House Ganache in Almorica. Realizing his chances of passing his elder brothers to take over the family business were slim, he instead chose the Officer's Academy. Though Sun disparaged his title as a coin vault knighthood due to his family's lack of military pedigree, his sterling record in battle gives the lie to any such rumors. Ah, uh, yeah, they were saying like, oh yeah, you're just a, you're just a rich, you just come from a rich family, that's how you got knighthood, you're not actually of high military pedigree. Interesting. 
All knights currently serving in the Wallace Resistance have, as a rule, endured terrible persecution at the hands of the Golgastani and survived countless bitter battles. While their numbers are small, their quality is of the highest order. Sir Farrell himself has been responsible for the ruin of many an enemy squadron, earning him the moniker Ganache the Crusher. I do love Ganache. Ganache is very yummy amongst his comrades. Entering Chrysaro as Vice had predicted, he captured Sol Sir Fulkert as an enemy spy. However, even though he succeeded in launching an attack on Din and Pavel's forces, he was defeated in the ensuing battle. Alrighty. Well, um, we could go to Quadriga, but that's the main story. Let's go over here to the Farampa Wildwood. I believe we read the description for it last time, so I don't have to read that. So let's see what we got. Oh! Oh, it's a multiple battle one. Interesting. This description appears to be the same. Okay, Adventurer's Gap. Wow, look at that sniper's perch up there. Okay, I mean, let's hop in. Let's do it to it. Obtain a buff card is my only bonus objective. Ooh, we only have eight slots. Interesting, interesting, interesting. So, I'm gonna have to trim some of the fat from this party, huh? Very, very interesting. So, what are we working with here? Ooh, we do have a griffin. Okay, that's good, that's good. At least we have a beast in this battle, so... Um, we'll be able to do some work with you. Cool, cool. I mean, I guess the the Dragoon can still be useful uh, if I out outfit you basically like a knight um, for the battle, because I do have to swap these things around to actually make you effective against dragons and stuff. So I can swap your skills out for other skills if you if it's not if the extra beast damage isn't needed. But it's only one beast in this battle. It's not like there's even a ton. So, let's see what uh, the enemies are rocking, and I'll decide what I'm doing based off of that. This is our first instance of an enemy actually having a whip as a weapon, and it's crush damage, weirdly. Um, I don't think of whips as crush damage, but I suppose they were having a hard time trying to decide which one to actually put it in. Um, a whip used for herding ca cattle. Its distinctive crack can be used to drive vast herds across the open range. Alrighty. So, cool. Yeah, there's a whip weapon. None of you have finishing moves, so you're not going to be particularly difficult, I don't believe. But, yeah, it's mostly pierce damage. Um, so, I think we're outfitted pretty well here. If we want pierce damage, and obviously I want my Dragoon, uh, I think I'm going to drop Voltaire to keep Derwin in. And I think I'll drop Miles. I want to keep Yuhuk. And obviously I want to keep Molossus and Batarin. Um, I think I'm fine with this squad. Um, let's go ahead and put our increased damage to beasts thing on here. So, we have Pincer Attack, Constitution, Rampart, Aura, so I can put on Beast Slayer. And then this increases melee damage dealt to beast units by friendly units within three tiles. I don't think that would be super useful since there's only one beast. I think we can just put on Beast Slayer and keep Rampart Aura. Um, also, if I want to try and recruit the Griffin, uh, yeah, we could put Subdue on there. I think that's probably a good call, so we can give that a shot. Alrighty, um, I think we are good to go here, so let's go ahead and start the battle. Eight slots. This doesn't seem like it'll be a very difficult one. There's not that many units, so... Hit me with your best shot, Adventurer's Gap. I'm just happy my Dragoon's actually going to be useful here. Um, it did say the forest was overrun by beasts and stuff, so I p guess I, suppo I suppose I picked a good time to turn you into a Dragoon. Neato. There's Benum! Alright, Stunbringer. Beautiful. So yeah, and that one's automatic, but this one... Yeah, and it casts Stop. Yeah, it said Bind before, so I thought it was like a... They couldn't move, but stops a single target. Does this just is this like stopping everything else? Like they just they they're like 100% stunned. They just don't get their turn. Uh, interesting. Well, I like that my weapon can stun now. Having all these different status effects on my weapon is quite nice. Um, let's go ahead and destroy some uh, brush here. Don't know why I double attacked. Uh, Molossus, you can go ahead and walk up. Uh, Arcel. 
Let's see, you can't really reach anyone yet, so I'll just have you sit there. Donalto, you have recruit on. Are there any humans I would want to recruit? Uh, doesn't. Oop, there's uh, one of you. Rainfred, you use cudgels. You're a wizard. Ooh, that could be interesting. Replace my current wizard with a um with a flyer wizard. Ooh, I like the idea of that. Ooh, I might try to recruit you. I might try to recruit you. That sounds cool. Alrighty. Well, we have two um characters we might want to recruit here. Yeah, I like the idea of a flying wizard. <clears throat> sounds neato to me. I could change like Canopus to a wizard if I really wanted. Um a cool flying wizard. You can already use magic and all that, but it would uh, like it would gimp your movement so much that I uh, don't think I want to. I like having you being able to move pretty far, and you can already use magic anyway. You just can't use some of the more advanced ones. Um, I just think that I just feel like that'll be a good upgrade to Miles. It feels good. Um, let's see. Yeah, I want to kind of smack some things around here. Let's uh, hit this. Eh. A reset card, huh? Alrighty. The Berserker is making their way over here. You hook. Go ahead and get in. I need uh, better ways for my melee characters to get MP. I need some, like, um... I guess that's a benefit of Rune Fencer, because um, the Rune Fencer can have Meditate on, yeah? So you can build up... That, that was one of the benefits of uh, Derwin was... You built up your MP so fast because you're one of the few melee classes that can actually gain MP like that. Um, that could be something interesting to look into. Making a lot of my characters, even my my mostly melee units, um, a class that can equip Meditate just so I can get MP more often. Why do you have a Magic Leaf? I don't remember putting a Magic Leaf on you. Weird. Eat rock. Yeah, yeah, that might be a good call. Hmm. I might look into that. Um, it's at least... It gives more reason to um, have someone on... Uh, what's it called? Um, uh, you know, you know the thing? The thing that I was just talking about, Rune Fencer. Makes uh, the Spell Sword a very interesting class. Owie. You who can take it, though. Give me that, please. The Nalto be my only healer is fine. I feel the Nalto is more than up to the task. Alrighty, that looks good to me. We still have this chance to uh, stun someone on hit. And you hit twice, too, so that, that means it'll be even more effective. Ah, so the whips can actually hit from range, too. Yeah, the range is 1 to 2. I mean, that makes sense. Huh. Interesting weapon type. I would I wouldn't mind giving whips a shot for some clashes because that's not one you see often in um, you know just fantasy games in general. Whip is a weapon. The only other thing I can think of where whips are a weapon are like uh, the Soul series, although they haven't been particularly good in any of them, if I recall. I, I think I think maybe Dark Souls one and two had some good whips, but I don't think three um, had any, and I I don't even know if there were whips in Elden Ring. And, uh, Bloodborne didn't have whips. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and get your auto skill up so you can get Berserk more often or something. Yeah, it looks good to me. Balder Hammer! Bonk! Good silence. I hit you so hard you lost the ability to speak. Beautiful. Uh, Derwin? Yeah. You could move right here and stab both of them. With a chance to inflict breach. Beautiful. Oh yeah, this is gonna be a pretty easy fight. Numbing hook. Ooh, stun. Okay, I want you. Deadshot too. Owie. That hurt a pretty good amount. Uh, toxic breath. Yep, that looks good to me. 100 damage on both of you. Yeah, this battle's looking to be just as easy as I thought it was going to be. 214. 
Each with a chance to stun. There we go. Owie. Nice punch. Uh, 163. That's enough to kill you. Thanks to that breach. Wonderful. Oh yeah, I mean, we're, we're doing A-OK -okay this battle. And I can cast heal 2 on Molossus here. There you go, friend. Heal 2 isn't that much better, but at least it's slightly stronger. It's really all I need. Healing's a lot harder in this uh, in this game because um, you just have weaker heals for the most part. Oh, the stumble. 0% chance to subdue, but we will work on that. I mean, you're not even relatively low health yet, so it makes sense. I just thought I would check for shits and giggles. All of the shits and giggles. Ow, don't you dare hit Donalto. Donalto's old. Can't take that shit anymore. Um... I would like to get that critical card, but let's let's get this first. Why don't we? 168 on Yosias there. Yeah. Derwin... Who are we going to be hitting, Derwin? Josias, maybe? Yeah, you could kill. Goodbye, friends. Later. Alright, Derwin, you are hurting pretty bad. You have to be careful of that. Berserk! So if I hit right here... Oh, it's not going to... Damn. I was hoping it would. Uh... Let's see. I can Tyrant's Mace you. Could I kill with that? No. So, yeah, let's just, um, smack you. I don't really need the Berserk anyway, so it's fine. Yuhuk is quite strong. Oh my god. I love him so much. I just love my big, cool lizard person. Alright, what are you doing? Yell upon the Vulcan High! Yeah, you're getting really messed up by this. Uh... You can't hit from right here. Can't reach you. Alright, we're gonna have to move you back a little bit. Um, can I dark weight you? I can. Alright, Malambus. Take big damage. Leadened? Beautiful. Yeah, I mean, anytime there's a beast for me to recruit, I should try and recruit them just for the simple fact that, um, even if I don't use them, they're worth cash money. Uh, I think I'm gonna use this rather than double attack, because I just want to get you low, I don't want to kill you. So... Will this still hit, even though this is in the way? Hopefully? Okay, it's still. It will. I was wanted to make sure it wasn't like Ruination, where, um, you know, it can be like, well, there's something in the way. Luckily, that was not the case. There you are. Owie. Don't numb him. He can't take it. What have I told you about this? He's old, alright? Leave him alone. 160 damage. Eat that ice prism. Looks good to me. Still bad chances to do you. We gotta get you way lower. How dare you empower your beast? Ow, the weather turns. Yeah, Derwin's not looking so good. Um... Yeah, you can't quite shoot from there. If I move you up here, though... Uh, I can't shoot the griffin. I can not shoot you. I really thought I was going to be able to. Can I shoot you if I go, like, right here? Yes. Okay, there we go. Beautiful. Alright, Donalto, we really need to heal up Derwin. Um, run away! to me. Big dash. Okay, you're already leadened. So, what could I do to you? Let's see, that does 218, this does 190, so yeah, we're definitely gonna want to hit you with the Toxic Breath. A little bit of extra damage there. Berserk! Um, so, if I hit you with this, that does big damage. It's also gonna hit Batarin as well. I use Tyrant's Mace. A little bit more, but that'll get you low. Yeah, let's do that. There we go, now you're in the red. Oh! 
pincer, you're still alive, though. I forgot about the pincer. 8 HP, perfect. Absolutely perfect. That pincer almost screwed me. I didn't want to hit Batarin, so... You know. Uh... This is fine. Let's just grab some stuff with Venom. Not really much for you to do. Uh, RSL, not really a lot for you to do either. Hit Donalto. Alright, Donalto. Uh, I'm gonna need you to... Heal to on Derwin. And then we're running towards that mage, friend. Because we are gonna try and recruit them. Alright, and we are also going to try and recruit this griffin. Uh, gimme. 41%? Yep, I knew it. I knew it. Even with pretty good chances, I'm, I'm not allowed. It's against the rules, apparently. Uh, I mean, let's just grab equipment. There's nothing better for us to do. Yeah. Looks good to me. Stunbringer fades. Benumb. Concentration. Uh... How much would this do to you? 26? Yeah... Let's see. Let's... Yeah, let's use this on you. Shadowbind? And yeah, it has 100% accuracy because of my uh, ability. You are stopped. Beautiful. And stop picking on Donalto! I'm about tired of your shit. Alrighty. Get in there, friends. And... We can heal and try to recruit you in the same turn. I have the MP for it. Oh, I didn't have the MP for it! Just barely! Damn it all. Oh well. Uh, skill, subdue, 40%. Ah, oh, come on. Stop being a jerk. Just join me, damn you. Uh-huh. You really just hate Donalto. Good block, though. Okay, you can move again. That's not ideal. Are you shooting? Batterin? That's fine. Alright, get in there. Recruit again. Oh, I can't. I don't have the MP. Damn it all. I don't have the MP for it. Well, that's annoying. That's fine. Donalto, you're gonna have to focus on recruiting here. Hmm, let's see. So, if I heal... Yes. Okay, heal and recruit take 50 MP. We're good. I can heal you and then recruit our friend here. But we do need to move closer. Hello. Uh, let's actually get you the auto skill card there. There we go. 23% chance. Join me! Damn you. Yep, this is the awkwardness of just waiting for the characters to actually get recruited. Alpine. Please don't kill, um... Don't do it. Yeah, that's right. Donalto too tanky. Mm-hmm. I could do, like, slightly more damage it, It's so hard to do damage to you without killing you, though. Um... I mean, I could, like, throw stones at you, but... Alright, 39% chance. Can you please? There we go. Malambus has been recruited. Thank you. And now I don't have to worry about getting the shit knocked out of me so hard. Wonderful. Alrighty, so if I move... Oh, I didn't see that. Oops. Uh, if I move, like, right here... 22% chance to recruit you. Um... I think I'm just gonna heal up. There we go. And now we'll just... Ooh, you're probably gonna try and kill my friend there. Let's just surround you. Then you won't be able to get to him. Yeah, now you're now you're not gonna be able to hit anybody but us. Oh, but you can fly. <laughs> you can fly over us, of course. <laughs> yeah, please. <laughs> Why do you have to be such a bastard? I guess I don't need you that badly. I just I just want you. I'll I'll try this time, and then we're ending it. 
Damn you. Yeah. I don't need you. Screw you. It's your fault. I got the beast, that's what I care about. It's your fault for not just joining me. If I could have got you a little bit lower health, that would have been better. But... I don't have the time to sit around here and wait. Well, we got 30 bronze obereths. I was like, haha, I have you trapped, you can't leave! It's just like, you stupid bastard, I have wings. <laughs> oh, cool, Rampart level 2. Uh, RSL got some stuff. Derwin got Rampart level 2. Candipus got a bunch of new things. That's cool, because you hit level 10 with crossbow. Yes, welcome to the party, friend. Welcome to the party. Melandus. Alright, yeah, that's- oh my god, this place is so long. What in the world? Oh, it's so long. Um... Okay, party. Let's see here, so... Let's, uh, let me go through everyone's things and see what, uh, all new stuff everyone got. So you got Meditate level 2. You got Alcola Swins, grants True Strike and Air Touch to friendly units within one tile. That's an auto skill. Hmm. I can put that over Fey Pact, I think. Yeah. Um, I mean, I really don't even need bows on right now, because I'm not using bow, but... Whatever. Yeah, I mean, that's a good one. As long as you're near allies, you can give them, uh, some pretty good buffs there. Uh, alright, what else we got? You got... Oh, yeah, I haven't actually went through all your things there. Okay. Eagle Eye. Boost the accuracy of ranged attacks to 100% for all friendly units within two tiles and prevent their attacks from being deflected. Ooh, that is nice. Um... Honestly, I would like that even over... Back attack. Hmm. Yeah. Because this is an area. Hmm. Yeah. Now I guess I could put it over Insight. Insight gives me 10 extra MP. Who cares? It doesn't give me extra MP regen, it just gives me extra MP. Yeah, I don't usually hit the cap of my MP anyway. That's fine. Uh, you I don't care about right now. Did you get anything interesting? No. What about you? Oh yeah, you weren't in the battle. You weren't in the battle. You didn't get anything new. You got Ramparts level 2, which is already equipped. And... You got nothing interesting. You got Rampart level 2. Alrighty, so yeah, that's... That's basically it. And then we got... We got Malambus now. Cool. And yeah, that was the other thing. Um, we need to recruit monsters because certain items can only be gotten after we, like, auction off a monster. Yeah, so... Something else to consider. So which way do we want to go? Um... Field of Fallen Sor Shadow or Snowmelt Stream? Let's go for the stream. I like the look of the stream. I did not expect this many battles. Obtain a buff card. So, let's scout. Let's see what we got here. Uh, more just generic units. Okay. Hmm. And not even any monsters this time. What are you? A rune fencer. Uh, we do have two flyers though, a rune fencer and an archer. Well, I already have an archer and I already have a rune fencer too, pretty much. So, eh. I'm good there. Well, let's uh, go ahead and prep ourselves for what we're dealing with here. Okay, they mostly do piercing type damage and they're all wearing balder armor for the most part. Um, so, crush damage definitely seems to be what we want to go with mostly here. So we'll outfit a party with those things in mind. They have like a lot of archers and uh, they actually have that mace that we've been over. And then this is a slash type uh, fist weapon. So yeah, we've got a few things to think about there. Alrighty. Uh, all right. I think this is the squad I'm going to go with here. Uh, since they're using Balder armor, we want mostly crush weapons. 
So I have given Canopus the stone bow, because that does crush damage. I have given... I, I've put Voltaire in, because Voltaire is using a Zweihander, so that's useful. Uhuk is in, uh, took Derwin out, Batarin is in, and uh, I was trying to choose between these two. But um, you do crushing damage with uh, Tail Lash. So I have you on just for the crush damage, whereas you do slashing damage with your things. Um, also, we haven't seen all of your skills, so um, you have Stun Breath, deals dark damage to multiple targets with a cloud of miasmic gas, has a chance to stun. Um, <clears throat> this is the Numbing Hook, has a chance to stun as well. And then this is Blood Siphon. Deals slashing damage to a single target while also absorbing a large amount of HP, I'm guessing this is about to say. That seems pretty good. You also have Feather Step, so you can remove Leaden from yourself. And you have Dash, of course, as well. So, yeah, you're pretty cool. <clears throat> I quite like you. Your move is also fantastic, even better than uh, the Dragon, because you're a flyer and your jump is absurd and everything, so... You seem pretty nice, friend. So, two different monsters for us to choose from now, so... Alrighty, with that, uh, I think we'll go ahead and start. I don't really have anybody I want to recruit, so... <clears throat> this should be a pretty easy fight. Phew, my throat. Did I not bring my water up here? I did bring my water up here. Alright, let me take a quick sip of drink. Ah, good stuff. <clears throat> cool, we got some concentration going, so... Yeah, I mean, let's just uh, start moving in here. I don't really feel too afraid of these enemies, so... I would like to get just, like, a lot of different types of monsters. Just, uh, to be able to, you know, put them in whenever I see fit. Uh, it'd be particularly nice to have, um... <clears throat> A few different beasts and dragons and stuff that do different types of damage. Um, like, the dragon handles crush right now. The uh, griffin handles slash, but I want one for pierce as well. Having, like, a ranged monster would be nice. We'll see if we can pull that off at some point. But, yeah, this will probably be a pretty quick battle. Like I said, these enemies just don't have a ton of HP, so they're not particularly spooky. Um, and there's only a few of them, too, so... There's that as well. It's like Graze of Blade, no longer your own master, your senses betrayed. Interesting, nice, nice uh, little battle cry there. All right, give me that. And stabby, stabby. There you go. <coughs> Boom. So, RSL, uh, you get like right there. Yeah, that looks good to me. Could hit you or you. That reminds me. I mean, I, Donalto does have the ability to recruit one of you. You're 15 with spears, and this dork is 15 with bows. Yeah, I'm just not super interested. Um, if you were a weapon type, I don't use. I would maybe consider it. Like if you were whips, I would maybe grab you. But I don't feel much reason to do it right now. <clears throat> the important thing here is uh, everybody's getting. Some nice level ups and all that jazz. That mage needs to, or that healer rather, needs to go bye bye. For sure. Luckily, they do like no damage. Yeah, this fight's piss easy. This is just uh, the grinding fights, I suppose, in these areas. I expected to run into true second air, uh, air touched. Cool. Um, I expected to run into some fairies in this forest. Quite honestly. Surprised they have not yet. But hey, I mean, we got a griffin at least. <clears throat> Berserker, back on their bullshit. Alrighty, so... We can get in here. Don't have an... Oh wait, no, I do have enough to use Fearful Impact. Yeah, Fearful Impact's cheap. Definitely like that about it. Boom. You're frightened now, and breached. Just gonna be taking a ton of damage. Uhuk, uh, you need to be careful. No one get near Uhuk. You will die, and so will all of your friends. 
Uh, Tail Lash. Or Bite. Or Boulder Blow? Uh, yeah, let's Boulder Blow the healer. Healer needs to go. Monsters are just so versatile. It's very, very nice. Um, Boon of Swiftness on Uhuk, I think. <clears throat> we don't really need to heal yet, so... Yeah, that's another reason to have a, um... A, uh... Rune Fencer is, um... As we saw that one, they can have a Boon of Swiftness on, the one that was in the previous battle. Which is very, very useful. Um... We could have somebody else to drop buffs on everyone, so... Yeah, I like the idea of swapping um, Durban around between a Rune Fencer and a um, Dragoon, just depending on the circumstance. The magic was useful, but I, I think the buffs would be better for a Rune Fencer to handle. The buffs that they can't actually use. Boom. Alrighty, who wants to die? This archer? Or who's, Uhuk's turn is coming up. Ooh, Uhuk's gonna be able to run back there and just annihilate them. Um, you have pincer attack on. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, let's just bop you twice. You're stunned. That is good. Good pincer. Owie. Ow! My god. Okay, well, um, hello. Backline. My name is Uhuk. <laughs> ooh, card. Um, ooh, Canopus can grab that. Uh, what is it? Resistance. Well, I don't have many other options for it, so I'm just gonna go ahead and give it to Canopus. I know I'm gonna be using Canopus all game, unless Canopus betrays me at some point, which would make me very, very sad and depressed. Uh, bonk. Good stuff. Voltaire. You still have enough for Fearful Impact here. Uh, yep. Go ahead and pop that. Yeah, I do like how this game encourages you so much to just use different types of units and weaponry and stuff. There's no true... I mean, there probably are, like, classes that are better than others and weapons that are better than others, but... You do want to use other weapons, um... In different circumstances and stuff, and I always like that. I feel like it's a... It's a sign of good game design. If, um... You know, it encourages you to try out different strategies depending on the battle. Uh, let's go ahead and heal to you. There we go. Penalto, you're so effective. I like you a lot. Okay, so Dark Weight. Your turn is coming up, so yeah, let's go ahead and kill you. Boom. You might even be able to do three battles this episode with how short these are. Ooh, another card. Um, I don't think that unit can make it there. Yeah, they can't. Okay, good. So, what is that? A loyalty card. Hmm, that increases our loyalty? Um, I let the leaders to stand alone, yeah. Yeah, is this unit you're a worthy leader who can do no wrong? Yeah, I, I haven't checked my, my unit's, um, loyalty in quite a while. Unit backs my every decision. Though still wary of you, the beast is content so enough so long as it's fed. Maybe I should give it to you then? Unit backs your every decision. Unit supports you. All things. All things. Okay. So maybe we should give that to our dragon. Because uh, our dragon seems like it could just leave at any moment. So. Yeah. Would be nice if they had like a number for the loyalty stat. Uh. Alrighty, so, hello. Just die. Just die. Beautiful. Batterin. Um. Ice Prison. Ooh, the big damage. The big Dimaggio. Alrighty. Looks good to me. Berserk is active again. I could just win the fight right here. I think. Physical up. Uh, not quite. Not quite. I will also be hitting Denim here. Um. Mm. I mean, that would be devastating, but I don't... I don't want to hit Denim in case something bad happens. 
Let's just, um, ice prison or throw a rock or something. Yeah, let's just ice prison you. Boom. Complete overkill. Or tyrant mace, sorry. Complete overkill, but... Oh, no, you're gonna get the dexterity card. You know what? No. Um... Well, let's wait and see if you actually grab it. Do you actually grab it? And then I can chariot tarot? Okay, you didn't grab it. Hold! Galaxy brain move from the AI there. Gotta hand it to the AI. Galaxy brain move. Absolutely insane that that's just- that's what you went for. You went and got hit by Uhuk so you could push yourself into the card while also doing damage to one of my characters. Like I said, galaxy brain shit. Amazing. Alright, we're just gonna move Uhuk over here then. Cause I want these- I want these cards. Hopefully you still drop it. Um... Canopus, go ahead and move down there. Yeah, so if I kill you, are you still gonna drop it? Or is it gonna be like, yeah, okay, you dropped something different this time, but... The enemy was gonna get the card, and it doesn't seem like it matters what I did there. Yeah, I don't think there's any other way I could make that work to get that dexterity card. Oh well, at least we can get this loyalty card for you so you like me more. Plus two loyalty, so now what does it say? The beast is content enough as so long as it's fed. Okay. Maybe that's like... I don't know, maybe that, maybe that is high loyalty for a beast? I don't know. I'm bad at measuring beast loyalty. Uh... Yeah, go ahead and heal yourself. Nothing much else to do there. Uh, RSL... You can't quite hit from right there. There's like right here. There we go. Abel, I'm gonna have to put you down, alright? I'm gonna have to put you down, Abel. It's just what Kane would have done. Boom. Kane will approve of this. Uh, ooh, can't quite reach. Denim can, and that is one dead berserker. Yeah, see, another very, very fast battle. Alrighty. Balder Helm, two bow guns. I mean, the money is mostly what I care about here. Alrighty. A little bit of uh, baby XP there, no level ups. Okay, oh my god, this place is so huge. I mean, sure, let's do Farampa's doorstep as well. Okay. I, I see no reason not to. I'm getting money, the battles are easy. Obtain a buff card is my objective here. Okay, so what do we got? I imagine these are gonna end in some sort of, um, you know, like boss fight or something too. Oh, well, you look super cool. Oh man, you look way cooler than Donalto. I like th I like the look of this character. They look super cool. You look like a stoic badass cleric. Sorry, Donalto. You're 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 cool too. But the but the male cleric art here is quite awesome looking. Okay, so we have a bunch of humans. Um, so nothing too wild here. Cleric, Berserker, um, yeah. Yeah, nothing too wild. Um, let's just see what types of weapons you're rocking. Pierce, Slash, uh, kind of very mixed here. You have two maces, but, um, yeah, or, yeah, yeah, you have two maces, but they're on the two healers, so that doesn't super matter. So it's split between pierce and slash damage. So I guess I don't really need to pay too much attention to that, but... Um, I definitely want to still lean into my crush damage, it seems. Except on the... Yeah, you're resistant to crush, but... Most other characters are not, so... It's fine. We're gonna do less damage to them, but uh... Yeah, I think we can kind of just roll with the same squad here. Uh, we still want the crush damage. So, yeah. To battle. Alrighty. 
I don't think these are just like random encounters. Like, I don't think this is just infinitely grinding. I, there must be an end to this, right? Um, yeah, because this, this feels like a randomly generated battles. But at the same time, there's got to be something at the end. There's a reason it popped up as a side quest location, yeah? Whatever. We'll find out. If I'm wasting my time here and just effectively grinding on screen, then... Oh well. God, that eagle eye is very good. Just got everybody like that. And there's Alcola Swins for everyone too. All of these buffs we're throwing down. Cool. Uh... That works. Shoot the tree. Oh, that tree's tanky. Well, at least there's a bunch of stuff for me to attack here. Ooh, a pitcher plant. Yeah, destroy pitcher plants. Pitcher plants are incredibly cursed. You victory bell weirdos. They're the plants, um, that, uh, basically they have, like, this sticky stomach acid, and they look like victory bell slash weeping bell. And, like, bugs and stuff fly in them and get stuck and just slowly digest it, as far as I understand. Very, very cursed. Don't like the pitcher plants exist here. This music is quite good, though. I do like that this music exists here. Um, How much health does this have? Eight. No thank you. I'll just keep annihilating the pitcher plant population. Don't worry about me. Ooh hook. There's your crit. Beautiful. Ooh, and a mend leaf. Dash. Alright, so you're... Are you strong against dragons? You have both of them. You have Dragon Slayer and Beast Slayer. You covered both your bases. So... Do you have the MP for it yet, though? Doesn't look like you have the MP for it yet. So... I actually think I can go ahead and hit you. Or I could just stay back and throw a boulder at you. Um, slash throw a boulder at these other characters. Eh, it does about the same damage no matter what. Eat rock. Be numb. You are going to be numb. Got it? Beautiful. Yeah, I can kind of just send Denim in. Denim is very, very powerful. So I don't I don't really have to worry about him, especially in these battles. Uh Yeah, sure. Hit Placinia. Placentia. Oh, I just realized, um, I haven't actually equipped, um, Canopus's, uh... I went through everyone's skills, but, uh, I forgot to equip Canopus's, uh, finishing move. Not that we really needed it, but... Yeah, I gotta equip that. I went through everyone's skills to make sure I saw them all, but not finishing moves. I can't edit them here, unfortunately, or I would. Or, oh, you don't actually have to equip it. Yeah, you just got it last battle, that's right. Uh, yeah, that's that's nice that it auto-equips it. Because I was like, oh no, I forgot to actually put it on. But no, we are fine. Alright, big bonk for you. Bad. Good stuff. Go ahead and prep the Sanguine Assault there. And Batarin, go ahead and get near your friend here. Alrighty. And Canopus, if I get you up here, will you be able to shoot that character? You miraculously can. It's gonna whiz right over Uhook's head, but... There we go. Lament of the Dead. Yeah, I really like that ability. That one's a strong and... We well, already feared, so I don't have to use fearful impacts. Good. Um, you. Eat Tail Lash? Slash, I could throw a rock, but no, let's Tail Lash you. Good stuff. Uh, Donalto, not a whole lot for you to do. A back attack from Utilia. Eat Rock! MP Restore. RSL, I think I'm gonna have you move up and start taking out those, um... Uh... Healers up there. They're annoying me. Their presence offends me. Yeah, Caspar. Casper. The friendly ghost. You will be dead. Next round. 
Um, let's see, Heart Crusher, or I can attack twice. I like a Denim fight two enemies on his lonesome. I should have attacked the other one so I could stun you as well, but okay, we'll just run away. Mighty Impact. You stumbled. Haha. Uh -huh. Ow. Good punch, though, RSL. Dragon Slayer, you're prepping that. I won't let you. You're not hurting him. I refuse to allow it. MP Restore. Canopus. Yes. Go ahead and get in the back line there. Alright, Dull Blind. Medium range crossbow attack that deals piercing damage to a single target with a shot to the underbelly. Ooh, That sounds painful. I don't like that. Or dull, I said dull blind, it's dull bind. Oh, there we are. Bonk. Still not enough to kill you, unfortunately, but... True Strike fades. Oh no, Donalto doesn't have True Strike anymore. How unfortunate. Plus magic. Go ahead and heal Denim. We might be able to squeeze one more battle in this episode, I think. I think it'll be possible. Uh-oh. Which one do you have? Do you have Berserk? No, you have Sanguine Assault. Um, I don't really want to waste that either, to be fair, but... Eh, whatever. My god, I think that's the l highest number I've seen dropped so far. You monster, Uhuk. Alright, hello. I am your death. My dragon friend will murder you. You're just gonna try to hide behind the wall to stay away from Canopus? I don't think that's gonna work. Howie. Yeah, these enemies are doing a whole lot of nothing in terms of damage to me. Well, RSL can still shoot you. And, uh, I can tremendous shot. Let's prep that for next round. Could have dark weighted you, probably? I should have had enough for it. There we are. Uh... Let's see. I'll move, like, right here. Yeah. Goodbye. Later. Venom, you are a monster. It's raining now, so our accuracy will be slightly lower. But... Eh, it'll probably be fine. Let's move right here and get that extra physical damage on you. Monch. Yeah, you better hear yourself faster. You little doofus. Um, let's see, do I just want to shoot you with the stone bow? Yes. Yeah, and you dorks resist it a little bit more than the other units that we're fighting too, because you actually have robes and stuff which resist crush better. So, I should have fearful impacted there. Auto skill. Annoying. Hello. Goodbye. Oh my god, this monstrosity that is Uhuk. I love you. I love my little reptile friend. He's so cool. Alright, now it's just a few of you left now. Uh, double attack. Good stuff. Ow. Not Al, actually. I dodged it. Eagle Eye, so... Yeah, let's, uh, Dark Weight. Not enough to kill. How much would just a regular shot do? 300, yeah, see, it'll actually do more. There we go. Beautiful. Um, so let's Tremendous Shot again, then. Cool. Yeah, not much for you to do, Donalto. You could have healed Denim, but we don't really even need to waste the time there. Tail Lash. Oh my goodness gracious. I'm sorry I had to do that to you, friend. Alright, now let's just clean up over there. 
clean up on aisle three over there by denim. Good smoke screen. Yeah, the ninja class seems wildly strong in this game, just like it is in tactics. I'm not complaining. Good stuff. Uh, RSL, you should be able to finish it. Yep. Okay. I think we can do one more. Even. I think we're just gonna be doing a ton of battles. It would be nice if I could get to the end of one of the routes here. At least I'm getting a ton of money. Ooh, and Minleaf plus two. Beautiful, beautiful. The XP isn't that big, but it's enough to level us up at least. Ooh, upgrades for Denim and uh, Uhuk leveled up Hammer. All right, okay, so this is finally the end of this path. Howling Hills, good. All right, um, Denim, you got some new things there. So Smokescreen level two, and then you got Steel Stance. Increase defense until next turn. And that's an auto skill. Hmm. That's interesting. I do like my ninjutsu, though. I do like my ninjutsu quite a lot. Like, Shadowbind is good. Hmm. That is interesting, though. That's an interesting one. If I ever needed to make Denim more defensive, I could take double attack off and give you, like, a shield. And then put that on instead. And you could just be a defensive monster. Alright. Howling Heals. Heels. Why am I saying heels? I mean hills. Okay. Let's scout this battle. I see a terror knight. What are you? Ninja? Yeah. Swordmaster. Oh. You're the one that does the dances and indirect war dance spells that restore a small amount of HP to multiple allies. Ooh. You seem interesting. Hmm. Mayhaps I try to recruit you, since I don't think I have the means to get you myself. Huh. Yeah, that seems cool. Um, so who- there's the Kunoi- uh, the Kunoichi. Yeah, you're hanging out right there. Kunoichi. Okay, so... 90- who has the best stats here? You... Are pretty good. How about you? 85 strength. So yeah, you two are stronger. So I should grab one of you. For sure. Okay, okay, yeah, I'm gonna try to grab uh, one of them. Uh, and l let's go ahead and prep ourselves for the battle here. See what we need. Uh, okay. I think this is the team I'm gonna run with. We still want a bunch of crushing type damage. This is the first instance where we've had enemies that mostly have slashing weapons, though. So I have the chainmail on, the balder helm, the leather sleeves, and the chain leggings. I believe this gives me the most slash resistance possible. Um, they have like two pierce weapons, but most of it is slash. So, uh, yeah. I put that on pretty much everybody that's going to be in the fight, assuming, assuming they were characters that I could actually put that type of equipment on. And we're running our crush damage build, I guess, so. Let's hop in here and see what we got. The Howling Hills. Vanquish the enemy. So, I mean, this is the end of this path. I guess, I guess these are just little, like, grinding maps. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't know if, I guess I can leave it up to people, uh, if people want to see me do these, um, or if, uh, this is something people will think I should do off screen. I don't know how unique they get and things like that, so if they are just kind of all generic like this when I get into one of these types of situations, um, I could just do them off screen if people don't really care to see it, but... We'll see. We'll see. Um, it feels weird to cut them out, but if I, I really expected this to be like a Nybeth situation. Where I would kind of, you know, run in here and we'd fight a few generic enemies. 
and then we'd get to the end, and we would have, like, some sort of special boss or something, but... It might just be a grinding map, basically. So, we'll see. At least they're very, very fast. Like, I can get through these crazy quickly. Um, so, there's that, at least. You tried. Alright, RSL. Eagle Eye everybody up. I suppose what I could do, too, uh, if I didn't do them off-screen, um, if we were ever gonna do a lot of them in an episode and I had the time, I could just kind of trim the fat and just show the interesting stuff that happens. Uh, give, like, a minutes of the battles. I don't know. I'm always looking for ways to make, uh, the playthrough more watchable and enjoyable for people. Um, so it's really just what people prefer. If they ever got too much, um, I would probably start doing them off screen, like if there were ever just way too many of them. Um, just because that's usually what I do in my uh, JRPG playthroughs, just to kind of trim the length of them down. But we'll see. Nothing's set in stone yet, and I don't know how common these sorts of things are going to be, but as far as what I've been doing so far, it feels basically like me just walking back and forth on the map and like, uh, tactics and running into various different enemies to kind of grind up. But I really thought there would be something at the end. Maybe there is something down the other path. I don't know. We'll see. This is once again, luckily, not going to be too difficult of a battle here. They just don't have a lot going on, these enemies. Uh, I mean, I can just wait for you dorks to come to me. I, I really don't have to come to you. We can kind of just sit up here and bide our time, so... You're walking your happy asses over here. Not the other way around. And, uh, Voltaire's gonna go up there and take care of these two. Uh, I can send Batarin with you, I suppose. Sure. Uh, yeah. Actually, you're one of the, uh, ones I wanted to recruit with the Nalto, right? Let's... Are you the one I wanted? Swordmaster, 88 strength. This one has 89 strength. This one I've already hit. They also have more HP, lower agility. Yeah, I mean, they're they're not that different, I'll be honest. So I can just grab either one of uh, these. You're not as good, but alrighty. We'll work on that. Uh, yeah, RSL, you're gonna have a bit of a rough time because of the, uh, types of armor they have. So you're not gonna be able to do much damage to anybody. Unfortunately. I need a bow that does crushing damage. Not a crossbow, just a bow, in general. Um, go ahead and grab the, uh, auto skill card, so you can get that berserk down when the opportunity arises. I mean, I guess they're just kind of buffing up down there, too. Need to be careful here. Ow. Ew, you stunned me. Rude. Ooh, I can do 118 damage to, to Dinston there. Beautiful. Uh... Can I put anybody to sleep? No. I want this buff, though. So, we'll do that, and then I'll fearful impact in preparation for next round. Wonderful. Can I hit you from here? No, you're much too- you're not much too low. Really? I thought you would have been. Um, it explained the- the height differential that, uh, allows me to attack them earlier for different weapons, but, um, I have since forgotten that because it hasn't- uh, it doesn't come up a lot, rather. Uh... Let's throw that at you. Ooh! My dragon brought me a stick. Who's a good dragon? You are, Molossus. You are. Boon of Swiftness. Um, sure. Oh, you stumbled. Pain. Harvest Dance. So how much are we talking? That's a pretty good heal. That is interesting. Um, I do like the idea of that heal, of that, uh, heal there. Am I gonna turn Donalto into a katana wielding weeaboo? Maybe. 
We might just do it. Just have you running around. Uh... <laughs> what's the- what's the meme? Um... While you, uh... While you studied- while you partied, I studied the blade or whatever. And then there's also, I have the power of God and anime on my side. No, that's the- that's the better one. That's the better one for Donalto. I have the power of God and anime on my side. <laughs> oh, now I want to make you a swordmaster. Oh, I'm interested in this now. All right, you're frightened and pretty low HP, so we may be able to do some things there. Oh no, my Dargan's scared. Poor Dargan. Hello. You may have scared my dragon, but there's another reptile with your number. How you like that, nerd? I can't wait until I get some uh, interesting classes for you, you hook. Um, not really anyone good to hit here. Uh. Can do bigger damage to you. Hmm. I could fly over here. And hit you with this. Uh yeah, I wanted to hit this character. Mostly though. Yeah, Canopus, just fly right there. You're you're kind of in the danger zone right there, but it'll be fine. Um yeah, you can do big damage to Dinston. There you go. Actually, I wonder if... Uh, so... Yeah, I was treating that like I was shooting. Um, I think I actually could have just hit that character with um, my finishing move there and killed them. I was treating it like it was an actual crossbow shot, so I was like, well, I can't hit... Um, I can't hit that character because there's two characters in front of them, but no, we- we could've. Um, I would kill you. Yeah, that's unideal. Um, I don't want to kill you. I hit you, though. Beautiful. Go ahead and get that Fearful Impact prepped. Alright, Donalto, you're gonna be recruiting someone soon. Uh, can I kill you? No, we don't do enough damage because we're Pierce. Yeah. Whatever. We can, uh... Hit you twice? Yeah, I need, like, another option for Denim. Like, a different type of weapon. For you. Let's go ahead and grab this crit up. And then let's just, uh, tail lash you. You do less damage, though, because of that Frighten. You think you're really cute, don't you? There we go. Okay, you. Um, recruit? Zero percent. Uh, oh yeah, people mentioned you can't recruit a unit while it's frightened, so... That's something, uh, we're gonna have to deal with. Yeah, let's go ahead and- oh, you stumbled anyway. Alright, well, you're just gonna have to wait. Canopus, you're- you're fine. Can Canopus is fine. Canopus can just fly away. So that the grain of life grow rich, land and people both new health in favor of the gods. I like your art too. The art for you is awesome. Okay, well you healed yourself at least, so... Oh my god, I still annihilate you though. Batterin, you monster. You absolute monster, you. Doing big damage with that axe. Um, RSL... Who do I want you to hit? Um, probably this character. Juliana. You tried. Alright, True Strike faded. Um... We can fly up here. And yeah, I can hit you. Yeah, so I could have killed you earlier, I'm pretty sure. Maybe it would have worked like the, uh, Ruination, though. Because Ruination couldn't go through, like, allies or enemies in front, but maybe this one's different. Congratulations on your heal. You're gonna fear somebody? Again, my dragon. What did my dragon do to you? Ooh. Ooh, hook. Um... Not really anyone good for you to hit, though. 
Yeah, I could absolutely annihilate my own team. But, uh, that's obviously not something I want to do at the moment. Uh, God, you're scary. Jesus Christ. Um... Now let's wait. Let's, um... Hit you. I do- if, if I'm gonna have Berserk on Uhook, it might be a better call to just take Pincer Attack off so I don't end up using Pincer Attack. Um... And, uh, it proccing the Berserk effects. Because that is scary when that happens. Um... Yeah, I mean, still not a whole lot for you to do. Yeah, just chill there, Donalto. Okay, so... Let's see... Can't really do too much damage to most people here. Hmm... Let's just, uh, Toxic Breath you, maybe? Yeah, if we're gonna Toxic Breath somebody, it should be you. Oh, I'll just stumble. Can you- can you dorks get, like, unfrightened, please? So I can recruit you? Well, never mind. That's not gonna happen now. Okay, you know... I wanted one of these classes. I'll- I'll get one soon. It's fine. Die. I'm sure- I'm sure we'll grab, um... One of the class marks soon. I was interested in it, but, uh... Yeah, this is the struggle of bringing someone that can frighten people in. I could still try and get Juliana, I suppose, because they're not actually... Yeah, you're not actually near Voltaire. Let's just try and get you instead. We- we can just kill these up here. Alrighty, yeah, that- that's my new plan. Uh, hello. Bye. Monster. Alright, so, yep, let's just start getting, uh, that character to pretty low HP. Oh yeah, that's why I didn't use Dark Light that time, it's 50, not 40, so Tremendous Shot is cheaper. Here. Um... Let's see, I think I want to hit you, Meredith. Mm. Nah, let's hit Juliana. Good stuff. The only annoying part is keeping the Swordmasters alive is annoying because they can heal, so... Oh! Don't do that! Jesus Christ! Okay! My god! We pissed you off, I see that now. Um, Donato, what is that card? That is a loyalty card. Um, I need to move you in here anyway. Whew. That, uh, that ninja, that ninjutsu was quite terrifying. Um, hi. I noticed you used some pretty spooky ninjutsu on my friends. I'm gonna have to ask you to stop that. Are you gonna grab that loyalty card? No? Okay. Uh, Uhuk, you still have your berserk active, don't you? Yep. Sure do. There we are. Okay, we can prep the Sanguine Assault as well. Unfortunately, that means I just killed the Swordmaster, but it's it's whatever. Like I said, I'll I'll get the I'll get the class mark for it. It's not that big a deal. Um, you, I won't have the loyalty card though. After you toxic. Breath? Never mind. Let's grab the loyalty card. Cool. Uh, you're gonna hit Uhuk. Yeah, this is fine. We didn't- we didn't get the characters I wanted to, but if I obsess over recruiting constantly, then we'll- we'll be here all day. So... This just seems like a better use of my time. Big ol' dash. Get over here and tail lash you. There we go. Good crit. Alright, so what is that uh, card there? Intelligence. Hmm. That is interesting.
interesting. I don't really have anyone on the field right now that I would want Int on, except for you, possibly, Donalto. So let's get you over there, I think. Yeah? Yeah, Boon of Swiftness yourself as well. Um, I suppose, otherwise, I could just give it to, like, Canopus here. Canopus can cast magic. Yeah, just give it to Canopus. It's fine. Alright, and Denim should... Ooh, I can't reach you, actually. Do you have enough for... You do, Heart Crusher. There we go. Alright, not so bad. Not so bad at all. Congratulations. Uh, got a bunch of stuff. Got some Tachis. Filter of Ashes. Those Tachis will be useful when I get a Swordmaster. It might be available in the shops now, even. I can- I can go, like, check the shops. Voltaire leveled up. Okay, so that's the end of that, huh? So... If I just left now, what would happen? Like, can I leave and then just hop back in whenever I want? Withdraw, are you sure you want to return to the world map? So... Hmm, I mean... I guess? I made it all the way through there. Will these things, like, respawn? Um... Here, how about we do this? How about we save? And then decide based off of that, yeah? Yeah, let's return to the world map. Okay, so what happens if... It does reset? Okay, so we're gonna have to finish that up next time, then. I see. I see. Alright, so don't... Don't pop out of there until you've actually finished all of the battles. Gotcha. So, we're gonna save on a separate slot here. Uh, well, it's already saved right there, so, yeah. Let's check out the party, though, and see what we got here. I'm pretty sure I never got any of the class marks for that Swordmaster class, but I am interested in it. The shop's selling the stuff for it now, so I'm imagining I'm going to get, be getting it pretty soon. Um... That does remind me, I did want to take... Oh, I don't actually have pincer attack on Uhuk. Okay. Okay, good. Okay, good. Yeah, it's scary with Berserk. I thought I had that on you, but um, I must have very smartly taken it off. Cool. Alright, well, with that, I think we're going to go ahead and end this episode off here. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for some more.